Hi, I'm Jessica Myers with the University of Washington Center for Commercialization. We work with researchers on a daily basis to protect and commercialize UW technologies. As a researcher, you may have heard about the America Invents Act and wonder how it affects you. In the next few minutes, we'll review some of the most significant portions of the new law, including the change from a first-to-invent patent system to a first-inventor-to-file system, a change in the one-year grace period, and a new post-grant review proceeding. The America Invents Act, or AIA, represents the most significant change in U.S. patent law in almost 60 years. While the changes are significant, the good news is that our practice for protecting University of Washington inventions remains relatively unchanged. The most talked about change in the AIA is a change from a first-to-invent patent system to a first-inventor-to-file system. The U.S. will remain a first-to-invent jurisdiction until March 16, 2013, granting patents to the first applicant to conceive of an invention. Any application filed prior to March 16 will continue to be subject to this pre-AIA law. However, after March 16, only the first inventor to file an application will be eligible for a patent. Any subsequent filer will not. The AIA may simplify the patent examination process by eliminating the need to determine who conceived of an invention first. However, an inventor can still challenge the eligibility of a first applicant when that applicant received the idea from the inventor and did not independently invent. These conflicts will be decided in new derivation proceedings. Another important provision in the AIA is a modification of the one-year grace period. On the one hand, the AIA retains the one-year grace period for patent filings. That is, once you present, publish, or otherwise publicly disclose your invention, you have one year to file a U.S. patent application. However, under the AIA, the grace period only applies to disclosures made by the inventor or by someone who has learned of the invention from the inventor. Importantly, most countries outside of the U.S. do not have a grace period, so to preserve foreign patent rights, a patent application must still be filed before any public disclosure. Finally, another notable change under the AIA is a new post-grant review proceeding, which is in effect as of September 16, 2012. Under post-grant review, any issued patent may be challenged as long as a request is filed within nine months of the patent grant. All grounds of invalidity may be considered by the Patent Office on review. Post-grant review will be less costly than litigation, but still not inexpensive. As a result, the value or enforceability of an issued patent may be harder to determine, at least until the post-grant review window has expired. With all of this in mind, here are some recommendations for making sure your UW technology is properly protected under the AIA. Make sure you contact C4C to file a provisional patent application before any presentation, publication, or discussion with anyone outside the University of Washington, even if a confidentiality agreement is in place. The rules for derivation proceedings are still being established and their interpretation will continue to evolve. Provide as much information as possible for your provisional filing. An enabling description of your invention still makes the best provisional patent application and provides the strongest support for future filings. Do not rely on the one-year grace period. There is still uncertainty about how the new grace period rules will be interpreted, and the grace period does not preserve foreign patent rights. Continue to keep lab notebooks. We may need detailed proof to show that an earlier filer derived the invention from you. Recognize that two sets of patent laws will be in effect for many years, at least with regard to the first to invent or first inventor to file systems. Those of you who have worked with C4C for many years will notice that our patent practice is largely unchanged. Please continue to disclose your inventions to our office well before any public disclosure so we can make sure your technology is properly protected. And please contact our office if you have any questions about the impact of the AIA.